The urbanization of China is growing at a massive rate. In 2009, Chao Bao Qi, the Vice Minister of Urban and Rural Development, predicted that by 2035, 70% of China's population, over 650 million people, will be living in the cities. The huge industrial growth that a population of 1.3 billion people has prompted has made it increasingly difficult for the Chinese people to sustain their history, as antiquated towns are consumed by subtopic cities. Despite this unprecedented growth, hidden amongst the sprawling urban chaos is perhaps one of the finest examples of sustainability known to the world. Wurzen Water Town, or as it's colloquially known, the Venice of the East. This town, which rests on the edges of the Beijing Hengzhou Grand Canal, was founded in 872 and has never since changed its name, location, or ways of life. Wurzen is riddled with deep cultural deposits which are sustained intricately through the memory of its long-standing residents and the preservation of artefacts and historical sites. For example, the bounteous collections of round bridges are homage to the full moon. In traditional Chinese culture, the round moon represents harmony and family reunion. This is perhaps fitting, given that the preservation of culture in Wu Town relies so heavily on the resident families to document the town's stories. According to anthropological research, Wu Town is still home to direct descendants of those who inhabited the area 7,000 years ago. This ancestral line demonstrates the town's incredible ability to preserve its ancient history. One may simply take a boat ride down the archaic canal to see women washing their clothes at the water's edge, chefs preparing traditional food, or see fathers teaching their sons the historic art of boat boxing. Wu Town is a prime example of how our history defines us. Without it, we are nothing. In this context, sustainability is not just the science of preservation, but a mark of respect for everything that we, as a society, are. Everything we were, and everything that we can choose to be.